Hey, this is Kevin David Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. And in this video today, I'm gonna to be going over a fun arm kettlebell workout that's gonna help you build massive pythons. And let's face it, we all wanna be like Hulk Hogan at some point in our lives, right? It's never too late. Okay, so I'm gonna go over six exercises and I suggest you do three sets of eight to 12 reps of all these drills. And if you have to go lower and do like five, set, five reps or six reps with any one of these, that's totally fine. And then work your way up and use a weight that's moderate to start out and make sure to master the movements first, okay? So the first drill we're gonna be doing is a double kettlebell gorilla clean, okay? Now this works your biceps, but it also works your cardiovascular system and your lower body all rolled into one. So let's get down to it. Before you start this drill, make sure your feet are wide enough apart to fit both kettlebells in between them, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is a backswing and then we're gonna pull the kettlebells up into a rack position. Now, we're gonna drop one kettlebell down and raise it up as the other one is dropping down in an alternating fashion, just like this. And notice how I'm doing a hip hinge and I'm keeping my back straight the whole time so you don't wanna round your back. And you can go in an alternating fashion, slow and controlled, like I'm doing here. Or as you're about to see, you can turn your speed up a little bit more, especially if you wanna get a more of a cardiovascular benefit. And you can do them this way. I also like to call this variation monkey punches because it kinda of looks like a monkey punch in the floor. So you want to alternate back and forth in more of a ballistic fashion. And then, and then when you're done, safely back swing the kettlebells or bring them back to the floor and stand up tall. This next drill is a basic biceps curl with two kettlebells. So you're going to stand with the kettlebells to your sides, pick them up off the ground, come to a standing position. Make sure your core is nice and tight, your body is braced, and simply lift the kettlebells up and toward your chest. Now notice when I lift them up, I turn my palms in a little bit into that rack position. So that's one of the advantages of kettlebells that I really like, is you can get a little more fancy with your variations. And then you can also alternate back and forth, speaking of fancy variations, instead of doing them both at the same time. The most important factor is that you keep your upper arms as still as you can and tight to your body, as you can see I'm doing. If they move a little bit, that's fine, but I always try to focus on keeping them as vertical as possible. And then when you're finished, slowly bring them, bring them back to the floor and then stand up tall. So this next drill is called a goblet squat biceps curl. So you're gonna lift the kettlebell up to your chest, hold it by the handles, also known as the, as the horns. Look down at your feet and make sure they're pointed out about 15 degrees. Lower yourself into a deep squat, pin your elbows on the inside of your thighs, lower the kettlebell by bending your elbows, and then bring it back up and then stand back up. So you're doing a few different movements here, all rolled into one. The key thing is move slow and controlled on the way down and with your arms and keep your gaze fixed at an angle up toward the sky. That's gonna promote good postural alignment and enable you to do the exercise with more grace and ease throughout the whole movement. And when you're finished, widen your feet a little bit, back swing the kettlebell, and safely bring it to the floor. Remember, it's always safety first. So this next exercise is a crush grip curl. And what we're gonna do is lift the kettlebell up and then we're gonna turn it upside down. So the handle is vertical to your body. Now, you see me move my arms like that. You can either put your elbows in tight to your rib cage or out at a slight angle. And you wanna crush the kettlebell with your big strong hands. So this exercise is not only gonna work the biceps, but it's also gonna improve your grip strength. And it will also give you a really nice emphasis on the chest. And as usual, keep your core nice and tight, your body nice and still, and move in a slow, deliberate, and controlled motion. So just go back and forth. And then when you're finished, you're gonna turn the kettlebell on its side, grab a hold of the handle, and then safely bring it back to the ground with two hands, and then you're good to go. Here we have an isolateral double kettlebell curl. And what we're gonna do is lower ourselves into a squat position. We're gonna lift the kettlebell slightly off the ground, and we're gonna hold that low squat position as we alternate doing curls. Now notice my elbows are in tight to my inner thighs again. And um, instead of the goblet squat drill where we go down and up back and forth, we're just simply gonna hold this low position. So this is actually an isometric squat, which is gonna get a lot of lower body activation as well as the upper body. So we're really gonna get the heart rate up on this one and we're gonna get more bang for our buck. So maintain your proper form, look up at an angle. And when you're finished, safely bring the kettlebells back to the ground and then stand back up. 
Okay, we got one drill left and that is the hammer curl. So I'm pointing to my biceps here and then I'm pointing to the part of your forearm called the brachial radialis, which this exercise really targets. So we're gonna stand between our kettlebells, we're gonna grab them, stand up, and then we're simply gonna keep our upper arm still as we maintain that hammer grip with our palms facing each other. And we're gonna alternate lifting the kettlebells up toward our chest and slowly lowering them down. And notice again how my upper arms remain perfectly still the whole time. They're not moving in and out and my body is braced, so I'm keeping my core nice and tight as well. So you're gonna do a bunch of graceful reps, and you're slowly gonna bring them back to the floor when you're done, and then your workout is finished, and commend yourself for doing a great workout. And then you can even look at yourself in the mirror and give yourself a double biceps gunshot to show your hard work as well. So there you have it. My name is Kevin David Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Wild Warrior Nutrition.